today I will be sharing six of some of my family's all-time favorite dump and go slow cooker recipes with you. All of these recipes are so delicious and easy to throw together. Plus, my first ever cookbook is available now. Let's get to my kitchen and let's start cooking. I was craving white chicken chili last week, so that is what we are starting out with today. To my slow cooker, I added in one large chicken breast. Next, add in a 15 ounce can of cantalini beans. Make sure you drain your can. Next, add in a 15 ounce drained can of great northern beans. And to give this added flavor, I'm adding in a four ounce can of diced green chilies. Now add in one diced yellow onion along with eight ounces of cream cheese. Make sure you keep cube your cream cheese just so it melts down the best and then a tablespoon of minced garlic along with two cups of chicken broth for the seasonings I'm tossing in a teaspoon and a half of salt a teaspoon of pepper and then a teaspoon and a half of cumin oregano and chili powder the very last thing I added in was one fresh lime that I juiced give this a really good stir put the lid on top and cook this on low for about seven to eight hours Now that the cooking time is up and my chicken is completely cooked through, I'm going to remove my chicken to a plate and I'm going to shred it up. Now I'm going to whisk the cream cheese in with the rest of the ingredients into my slow cooker. The cream cheese might look a little chunky and not super appetizing, but just whisk it in until it is well combined. But once your chicken is shredded, just add it in, stir this up, and then you could serve this delicious white chicken chili up. Here is my bowl of food. I topped mine with fresh salon a little bit of pepper, Monterey Jack cheese, and sour cream, but top yours with anything that you love. This soup is so rich and delicious. It is so perfect for this time of year. My family just loves it so much. Whenever I'm hosting or I'm going to somebody's house and I have to bring a dinner, I almost always bring these barbecue beef sandwiches because they're so easy to make and just about everybody loves them. So we're starting on the dry rub first. In this little bowl, I added a tablespoon of brown sugar, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, a tablespoon of paprika, and then a teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder. Last, a teaspoon of chili powder. Give this a really good stir and now I pulled out my large chuck roast. I did cut my roast in half just so it fit in my slow cooker better. This was a really big roast. I'm going to sprinkle this seasoning mixture all over the top and bottom of the roast and then I'm going to add it right into my slow cooker. After you add this into your slow cooker, put the lid on top and let this cook on low for about seven to eight hours. I have been making this recipe for years and this recipe is on page 157 in my cookbook. If you missed it on Friday, I released my first ever cookbook and it is available now for all of you. There is a high quality color photo for every single recipe in the book. There's over a hundred recipes and eight different sections ranging from breakfast to sides, dinners, desserts, and more. This cookbook seriously has it all. It's linked in the description box, and if you already purchased one from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys all so much for supporting me for these last however many years. Thank you so much for being here today. I really, really appreciate you, but now that the meat is tender, I am going to remove it to a plate and I'm going to discard the liquid from the slow cooker and then using my meat masher, I'm going to shred the meat up. Make sure you remove any of the fatty pieces from the meat, but now that it is nicely shredded, I'm going to add in a cup of barbecue sauce. You could use any type or any brand of barbecue sauce that you like. After you give this a stir, let this cook for an additional 30 minutes. This is going to make the meat extra tender and it is just going to make it extra good. But I served ours in like a roll with a piece of cheese, but you could serve yours in a baked potato. You could eat this meat alone, eat it however you choose to do so. So I also served it with some wild rice that I made up on the stove with broccoli and cheese. If you want that recipe, let me know in the comments. 
Now we're making the slow cooker chicken and rice casserole, so over to my slow cooker. I'm adding in a pound of cubed chicken breast. Next, add in a cup and a half of uncooked brown rice. You want to make sure you use brown rice over white rice because white rice will kind of become mushy. Next, add in a 10 ounce can of cream of chicken soup along with a tablespoon of minced garlic. Now add in one diced yellow onion along with three cups of chicken broth and then for the seasonings, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and then a teaspoon of onion powder with a teaspoon of paprika. Give this a stir and cook this on high for about three and a half hours. Now that the cooking time is up and my rice is tender and my chicken is cooked through, I added in one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Let the cheese melt down and then you could serve this up. If you don't care for cheese, you of course don't have to add the cheese in. But here's my plate of food. This is total comfort food to the max for me and my family. This is really delicious and so easy to throw together. This is a great affordable dinner. Now we're making this slow cooker honey chicken. So into this bowl right here, we're going to work on the sauce first. So I added in a third a cup of low sodium soy sauce along with a third a cup of honey. Then add in a tablespoon of minced ginger and two tablespoons of minced garlic. Next, I'm going to add in a dash of salt and pepper. Whisk this all together so the honey is combined with the rest of the ingredients super well, just like this. Now over to my slow cooker I'm just adding in two chicken breasts just right in there pour the sauce over the top and cover this with a lid let this cook on low for about six hours or until the chicken's cooked through but once the chicken's cooked through just shred that chicken up in the sauce once it's nicely shredded put the lid back on top and continue to cook this on low for about 20 more minutes this will help soak the sauce up in the chicken then you could serve this dinner up here's my plate of food we served ours alongside of some steamed white rice and steamed peas we also put sesame seeds over the top this dinner has very minimal ingredients the chicken is very flavorful and this dinner is also a great one if you want to meal prep it for the week now we're making this potato taco casserole. So over to the pan on my stove, I'm adding in a pound of ground beef, or you could use any ground meat or meat substitute that you like. Break the ground beef up and cook it through. Once your ground beef is cooked through, just remove any excess grease from the pan. Now bring that ground beef over to your slow cooker and add it right in there. Now add in a 26 ounce bag of frozen hash browns. Next, add in one cup of shredded Mexican stuff cheese. Now I'm adding in one can of Rotel. If you don't know what Rotel is, it's like diced tomatoes with green chilies. Then add in a tablespoon of minced garlic along with a half a cup of heavy cream. And then last, I'm adding in two tablespoons of taco seasoning to give it some extra flavor. And then you are going to want to stir this super duper well. Once you stir it well, just sprinkle more Mexican style cheese over the top and cook this on low for about five to six hours. Once the cooking time is up, you could serve this beautiful dinner up. This is definitely not your average boring slow cooker dinner. This dinner is full of immense flavor. You could top this with your favorite taco toppings. I just topped ours with cilantro and shredded cheese. Now we're making this full spaghetti dinner in the slow cooker. So over to the pan on my stove, I'm adding in one pound of Italian sausage. Use any type of sausage that you like. I also added in one yellow onion that I diced. Break the sausage up and cook it through. Now that the sausage is cooked through, I'm just absorbing any excess crease in my pan right now, just with a paper towel, it works pretty well. Now go ahead and add in a 14 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes, along with a 20 24 ounce jar of marinara sauce. I'm adding a half a cup of water in that jar of marinara sauce to get any excess sauce out and then you just need some water in this recipe. For the seasonings, I added in a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and a dash of pepper. Give this a stir and then you are going to want to bring this over to your slow cooker. Now into your slow cooker, add half of this sauce and meat mixture. Just spoon it in there. I find that it works best with like a soup ladle, but just 
try to add that mixture in there then sprinkle a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese over the top and then a third a cup of shredded parmesan cheese now for the spaghetti noodles use seven ounces of spaghetti but break the noodles into three smaller pieces and then add the remaining meat and sauce mixture over the top make sure the noodles are covered in the sauce sprinkle a half a cup more cheddar cheese and parmesan cheese over the top of that cook this on low for four hours I was going to serve our spaghetti alongside of a side salad or some steamed vegetables, but you know what? That night just kind of got wild. So this is how I served dinner and it was super delicious. My little ones absolutely loved this one and it really was simple to throw together. I have plenty more videos like this on my channel. Also, you gotta check out my cookbook. It's linked down below this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.